Welcome back. Starting this video, let's take a look at the implementation of the graph data structure. In this video, we are going to create the graph class and implement methods to add a new vertex to the graph, as well as add an edge in between two vertices. Let's begin. In Replit, in index.js, I'm going to create a new class. Within the class, I'm going to add a constructor to initialize a new adjacency list. This dot adjacency list is going to be equal to an empty object. Now let's populate this object with vertices and edges. First, let's learn how to add a new vertex to the list. Let's call the method add vertex. The method accepts a parameter vertex which needs to be added to the graph. Within the method body, we begin by checking if the vertex already exists. In our case, the parameter is a simple string that identifies the vertex. So if not this dot adjacency list of vertex that is, the object does not contain a property with the key vertex. We add that vertex to the list and its value will be an empty list of edges. So an empty array to begin with. Now the right hand side, you could leave it as an array, but for better performance, I would recommend you make use of the set data structure. So new set. What we are basically doing here is creating an entry in the adjacency list object with key equal to the vertex and the list of adjacency vertices empty to begin with. We can now instantiate the graph class and call the add vertex method. Const graph is equal to new graph. And we call graph.addVertex with three vertices A, B, and C. If this is clear, let's proceed to implement the method to add an edge between two vertices. Let's call the method addEdge. And this will accept two vertices as parameters. Vertex 1 and vertex 2. In the method body, we begin by checking if the two vertices exist. If they don't, we add them using the add vertex method. So if vertex 1 does not exist, that is, this dot adjacency list. of vertex1 is not defined, we call add vertex passing in vertex1. Similarly, copy paste and change vertex1 to vertex2 to check if vertex2 does not exist. Once we have made sure the two vertices exist, all we have to do is add the vertices to the adjacent vertices list. To establish a connection from vertex 1 to vertex 2, we write this dot adjacency list of vertex 1 dot add vertex 2. Here, add is a method available on the set data structure. We have now established that vertex 2 is adjacent to vertex 1. And since we are dealing with undirected graphs, we need to ensure vertex 1 is added as an adjacent vertex to vertex 2. So duplicate the line and in the adjacency list of vertex 2, add vertex 1. This is the implementation of add vertex and add edge methods. With that, you can now call 
graph dot add edge from A to B and from B to C. Of course, this is an undirected graph and the edges will exist from C to B and B to A as well. At the moment though, there is no way to visualize the adjacency list. Let's address that in the next video.